What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Smash Bros. 5, where we'll be taking on Night 2 in this video, and I didn't point this out in Night 1, but the music is bone-chilling in this game with the um, cellos and the double basses and the organ. It is so bone-chilling. But anyways, um, without further ado, I will take on, we will take on Night 2 in this video, which I have to enter the passcode, which the passcode is 46832. And we get the water effect, and if you need a reminder, the passcode is shown under Night 2, right where I'm pointing. And we will take on Night 2 and see what it has to offer for us. Okay, so for Night 2, um, we are in the same part of the sewer game, which is the middle part. I don't know if we'll be moving to another part for the rest of the night, but as far as I know, we're still in the same place. And I don't know who we're dealing with new this night. But I will look around the camera to see who we're dealing with new tonight. Sorry, I should have fixed my computer. And the camera, too. Yeah, it's, it's always at a crooked angle, like, no matter where I put it. I don't know why that is. Like, it just happens. Alright. Okay, there's Mario. I see Mario. Okay, there's Luigi. I see Kirby. Man, I see Pichu, use the jammer. Okay, so for this night, um, we're, we we Pichu is going to be active, so the only new character we're dealing with tonight is Pichu. Alright. So we're dealing with Pichu this night, who is in, who's also in Five Nights of Smash Bros. 2. So Pichu is the new character we're dealing with this night. Oh, sorry, I accidentally X'd out the camera. Not like literally the camera, but like the camera on right here. And I don't know who just moved. Because Mario's still in the same place. Luigi and Peach are just moved. And for Peach, um, his mechanics are the same as Mario and Luigi. We have to use the jammer when they when we see them. And then with Kirby, of course, we have to type in his name. There it is. Okay, someone just moved. Oh, it's Kirby, okay. The others I cannot see on the camera. The most common thing with FNAF Fangans is that, like, they hide on a camera where you can't see them. I don't know why that is, but it's just, it's just weird. Okay, I see Luigi. And you always have to constantly look around the camera in this game and, um, put the camera down, like, almost every time because... You never know where the animatronics will be moving to or if they'll come in front of you. You never know. So you gotta be prepared. Like in most FNAF fan games and with Final Fantasy Freddy's. Okay, I see Mario. Use the jammer. Got rid of him. Okay, I still see Luigi on that camera. I don't know where the others went. Oh, there's Pichu. I gotta use Jammer. Okay, got rid of him. Good. You got him, Pichu. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I thought Luigi and Kirby were coming in, but they're not. They're still on the cameras. 
same with Mario, and then Pichu left. Plus, the good thing is we have unlimited power. Because that's the thing with sewers. They usually have unlimited power. Unless if the lights go out. Which is a good thing they won't in this game. Anyone in front of me? Nope. I see Pichu. I do not see where Luigi is or Kirby. So I don't know where the heck they went. I see Mario. So that means when you don't see him on the camera, they're either hiding or they're about to come in front of you. Okay, so look. Nope, not there. Okay, Mario just moved, Luigi's here, gotta use the jammer, and I saw Mario move, and I do not know where Kirby is, because Pichu stole in the same car, Mario went to another one, and then Luigi just left, and I don't know where Kirby went, but I gotta type in his name when he comes. There's Pichu, alright, I just used the jammer, I see Kirby, he's on that camera, Mario, Mario's still on the same camera, and I don't know where Luigi is. Okay, Mario, Mario just moved, same with Pichu. Alright, Mario, Pichu, and Kirby just moved. And I do not see Luigi yet. Okay. I don't know who's going to be coming in front of me next, but I got to check. Okay, Pichu just moved. Same with Kirby. Which I only see Mario and Pichu on the cameras. I do not see Kirby, Luigi, and... Uh, I do not see Kirby and Luigi. Okay. I just had to use the jammer on Mario. That's what you just saw there. I don't know who we're dealing with next. Okay, I see Luigi. I do not see Pichu. I do not see Kirby. I see Pichu, Luigi, and Mario. I do not see Kirby yet. Oh, I see Kirby now. Okay. God, you guys are always hiding on me. Like, why are you guys hide on me? Okay. I don't get why the characters, like, hide in this game. That's just weird. Okay, Pichu just moved, I just have to use the ID of the jammer on him. And Ma And Luigi just moved and he just came, so I had to use the jammer again. Okay, Mario and Kirby just moved. And these guys are all moving back to wherever they can go to. I just had to use the jammer back to back on both uh Pichu and Luigi. Even though these guys aren't like extreme it's interesting how I use the jammer back to back even though these guys are not like extremely active this night. That's on like night six. Oh god, I gotta type in Kirby's name. Alright, got rid of him. I just saw Kirby come I just saw Kirby in front of me and I just had to type in his name. Which I did thankfully. Alright. I do not know where Luigi and Pichu went. I know Kirby left and Mario is still on that camera. So I don't know where the rest went. But I did just have to deal with Kirby.
right, we beat night two. Sweet. And that and that clock sound is bone chilling too. But anyways, we will take on night three in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. The support all of you have given me in these videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.